Well, my uh, contribution to the show is uh, three photographs uh, that I did uh, last uh, June. And uh, the photographs were shot on traditional film using a very low-tech camera, a camera called a Holga camera. And uh, I spent a, a half day out at the uh, Turner Valley gas plant site photographing. The uh, subject matter are, uh, of the photographs is interior spaces in the, uh, in the Turner Valley gas plant. And uh, the, the traditional film approach and the low-tech camera seemed to sort of, um, you know, evoke the quality of the space, I thought, quite effectively. I describe myself as a documentary photographer, and I've been photographing uh, Western Canada for, for just about 30 years. I've done books on the Hutterites, books on First Nations communities, also books on um, uh, just, the, just the small disappearing communities of the West. And I've... Uh, I've known David Finch for a number of years. He's, of course, a very well-known uh, regional historian with a special uh, knowledge of the, uh, of the energy industry. Two of us uh, traveled from Calgary in and around Turner Valley and just saw a lot of the things that were part of the, essentially, the, the history and the, um, the, the, the genesis of the energy industry here in Canada. David, of course, has, a, has an in-depth knowledge of the, of the communities, the social history, the politics, the economics, everything that was a part of the, uh, you know, what is now the base to this incredible skyline that we have here in Calgary, which is, you know, really the, the heart of the energy industry in Canada. You know, when I found out that we had the opportunity to, uh, to spend some time on the, uh, on the site of the Turner Valley gas plant, and that's like catnip for me, right? I am so fascinated by these things that are sort of iconic, historic, um, and, and really, the site itself is, you know, it's almost like something out of a, out of a Frankenstein movie. It's absolutely so f full of visual texture and nuance that just as an object, it's incredibly beautiful. For me, it's, I, I'm, 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 I'm a real story junkie. And when I can hear stories that relate to the history of a place, uh, the human element, and also just see it played out in the case of the Turner Valley gas plant, in this extraordinarily gothic, beautiful, dramatic place, I was just, uh, I was really thrilled to, uh, to spend some time and see what I could do with it photographically. I think um, photography is often described as a, as, a, as a gift to the future. You know, there's that saying sometimes people say, you know, those who don't, uh, respect or understand history are doomed to repeat it kind of a thing. There, there can often be in history uh, a little roadmap to the future I think as well. Okay, well, the, uh, the paintings themselves uh, individually are 20 by 20 oil canvases. Um, sort of one of the first, first times that, I mean, it's kind of, there's a bit of a conceptual uh, feel to it just based on the 100 years of oil and gas. So uh, the idea behind the, this is to somehow, um, you know, evoke some type of emotion in the viewer that connects. For me, it wasn't so much being um, uh, literal towards oil and gas. It was more interested. I was interested in in creating some type of emotion that that really is kind of community based. What's around the corner, and and really that's that's what I, I I had this thought. You know, coming into town one day, seeing the sign, the blue, the black diamond sign, and just immediately uh, jumped on uh, rather than three kilometers, just next. Like there's four pieces in each, eight in total, um, four that are sort of based on Turner Valley signs and then the Black Diamond signs. And it's sort of, you know, I could have even taken it a step further and just allowed for two blank canvases and, you know, let the viewers, let, let the citizens of this area paint them themselves. That's the idea. My work is primarily um, acrylic collage on canvas. Um, incorporating found images, maps, um, and layering them with um, acrylic paint and pencil graphite. 
some of my new work I'm introducing this time around are uh, small paintings on canvas, um, incorporating found images and just layering them with uh, acrylic clear plus. And this time around the paintings are, the canvases are smaller um, and featuring a variety of animals, um, not, just, not just caribou. Um, but the technique and the medium is the same. It's again acrylic collage, um, but this time not as dark. But I didn't really want to come around so hard this time around, not because I don't believe the oil and gas industry, anyone needs to, you know, step back and not hold them accountable for anything. I just wanted to take a more, take a wider view, perhaps and perhaps trying to figure out why we view the animals, the wildlife, as sort of you know, fourth-class citizens. Uh, like each artist has such a different flair to their work and I think that, you know, uh, one's gonna maybe be a bit more didactic. So I think there's something for people who have an interest in history, in culture, uh, in traditional photographic uh, technique. People will come away from the show sort of reflecting on our past and, and where we're going in our future and how 100 years of oil has um, affected us and our environment. I, I'm excited to be part of it. I was, I'm very excited to be, uh, to be invited and be part of it here. And again, with these, these two uh, uh, artists that are quite profound, you know, that's all I can say. <laughs>